Hi, so let's continue our um, course. So uh, in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to create your model and uh, we added some uh, attributes uh, to that model uh, which were name, last name and age of type st uh, string and integer. So, and um, we have run th this migration and uh, I explained to you what is a migration. So, a migration is a way to alter your database schema. And um, in case if you want to make some changes to our model and you want to uh, affect this uh, change to your uh, database tables. So, in this uh, video today, I will show you how to create um, a migration and uh, inside this migration we will um, put some uh, changes to our model and then we will run uh, our migration to uh, update our uh, database table. So, in the first place, I will show you how to add some, um, for example, uh, to my table customers let's suppose that I want to add another attribute which is for example email so to do that there is two ways so the first one is to do that uh, entirely in from the command line so to do that I have to type this command so rails g or generate migration and then um, now, the, the noun of your migration must follow a specific uh, syntax. So, to do that, for example, let me show you. So, Rails G migration, so uppercase add, so add with um, uppercase A, and the name of the attribute that you want to add to your model. So, add, for example, add email email with e uh, uppercase to t uppercase at email to and the, the name of your model in plural so to customers sorry so customers and then space you have to um, specify the name of the attribute and its type so for example uh, let's say email and it is of type, for example, string. So let's run our um, migration nodes. But just let me repeat. So we have to type rails g migration space, and you have to type add, which is the a keyword. So add must uh, start with an uppercase. The name of your uh, attributes email must uh, begin and start with an uppercase too. To the keyword to uh, with an uppercase to and the name of your model in uppercase uh, that starts with an uppercase and it is in its plural form. Then space followed by the name of your um, attribute and its type. So let's run uh, our migration now and let's generate. Let's generate it. So I hit enter. Let's wait for it to finish. And if you are using another model, you can uh, another, for example, attribute. You can, for example, say type here add, for example, add the uh, address. Address must begin with uh, an uppercase A. Two customers. It's, it depends on your need and on your use. So. Let's wait for the mig for the migration generation to end. So, and let me refresh here. So, and as you can see here, uh, another migration has been added to my migrate uh, folder. So let's open it. And as you can see here, the def the method change and it uh, contains this line of code here. So. As you can see, the this keyword add column, so and uh, it will add the uh, and uh, the customers table will be affected with the add column, uh, for example function, and uh, it will uh, add the email attributes, and uh, which is of type string. 
but let's take, uh, take, just take a look here at, at uh, the name of your migration. So as you can see, the sequence of uh, numbers here, uh, if you wonder what is the point of uh, adding those numbers here, so Rails uh, must know what, uh, what, um, what is the last migration so he can uh, run it. So uh, Rails add this uh, timestamp here uh, to each uh, migration so he can recognize which migration will he run. So as you can see here, it, it begins with the year, so it is uh, 2016, then the months, uh, 05, then 05 the day, then 17, which is the uh, the hours, number of hours, then the 20, the number of uh, minutes, then 52, which is the number of seconds. So Rails uses this timestamp to um, uh, distinguish between uh, each um, migration and to he, it help Rails to uh, uh, choose the uh, migration that he will be, uh, that he will run. So um, now after uh, my, uh, generating our uh, migration, we will update our database table, which is the customers table. So let's, like always, we will run, we will use this command rake db migrate. With this command, we will run this, uh, this migration and we will add the email column to our customer table and we will check that our, in uh, our SQLite uh, DB uh, browser. So let's first run our migration. So let's run this command. So um, the migration has been successfully uh, run and let's uh, take a look at our database so let's refresh it and let's take a look so so I have to refresh it sorry so where is from scratch so let's see our uh, columns so as you can see here the table customers contains the email uh, column which is of type varkar so now um, I will show you the other way that uh, you can create your migration. So the second way is that you are going to write this code here on your own, that you will do it manually. So to do that, let's suppose that we want to, we want to add another um, attribute, for example, which is, for example, address. So you have to do the same process without uh, for example, let me call you. You can call your migration whatever you like. You can call it uh, uh, Rails, for example, my Obama migration. I don't know. It's up to you to choose the name of your migration. So uh, Rails G uh, migration, and now I'm just gonna call it, for example, add details to uh, customer and here I'm not going to specify the name my attribute because um, I want to add uh, the attributes uh, manually inside my uh, in my migration file so I will hit enter now and wait for the migration to be generated so uh, the migration was created so let's refresh our f migrate folder so as you can see here another migration which is uh, called uh, add details to customer which um, uh, which uh, contain the uh, current uh, date and the as you can see here this um, this the migration, the time in this migration is um, 17, 20 and it, it's, uh, this migration, the timestamp is, uh, it, of course it has the same date, the day, the month and the year, but the time here as you can see it's, it is 17, 26, so it's uh, after 6 minutes. So um, let's open up our file, migration file. So now uh, let's suppose that we want to uh, add another um, 
column for example um, zip code for example add with the auto completion so we will use the add column um, for example a uh, function that takes the name as argument the name of your table which is customers the column type and the name of your the name of the column so add column column and we will use the right the name of our uh, database table which is customer then we will uh, type the name of uh, our of our uh, attribute which is uh, zip code so let's just make an address space I'm gonna just make it of type string okay so this is how uh, you write uh, your own your own um, migration code there is many other uh, function like at column there is for example um, for example let's suppose that we want to remove uh, attributes uh, from our table so we will use the remove remove column function so remove column we, will, we must specify the name of our table so customers so let's suppose that you want to delete the for example the email um, sorry I have to to put comma here so um, after that I must specify the name of my, the attribute which is email for example I want to delete the email um, field and then I have to specify the type of the attribute that I want to remove so here the type is string okay so and there is many other um, many other function that you will be using uh, in, in future videos so now um, let's uh, save our file and let's run this migration add details to customer migration and let's see the results results on our database so db migrate so the migration was executed and let's see the results uh, on our database so let me just reopen my database in the db browser for sqlite and let's see if the migration is successful so as you can see here there is no more an email address the email attribute was deleted and an address field was added to my customers table and it is of type text so um now um i will may and i will create another migration and uh, let's suppose that i want to change the type of um of the address field to string because it is of text uh, type text now so to do that so um, so I have to tell you uh, tell you before that uh, after before um, uh, creating the uh, the new migration that a migration uh, uh, we can run a, mig a migration just one time because um, after because when I create this migration here and if I create another migration after it and I run the rake db migrate command the new only the last migration will be executed the, the, the ones that uh, were created before it will not be uh, executed so uh, you have to be careful when you are creating your migration you have to execute your migration after creating it so now I'm, go I'm going to create another migration rails g migration I'm gonna call it um, change for example change um, address address type so let's hit enter okay and let's uh, refresh our uh, migrate folder so this is our new migration which is called change address type so there is a function called change sorry change column so this function here will allow me 
to change the type of an attribute. So first of all, I have to specify the name of my um, table, so customers, followed by comma, uh, the name of the field, so uh, address, then I have to specify the new type that I want it to be affected to my uh, attribute address. So I'm gonna just give it string as type. So let's save our um, file and let's run this migration. So reg db migrate. So the migration was ex executed, so let's go to our uh, database visualizer and let's see if the change was made. So as you can see here, address, um, uh, before a while it was of type text, now address if it is uh, of type of our car. So this is how we change the type of uh, an attribute. So uh, and inside a single uh, migration you can uh, have multiple uh, operation change column it's not just about one uh, operation you can add inside this file if it weren't uh, executed you can uh, add many other uh, modification in one migration and they it will be um, uh, executed uh, on your database table so uh, now so now let's suppose that um, I made those changes to my database table and um, I made a, for example, I made a mistake. Um, for example, if um, I was wrong and uh, I don't need the, for example, the uh, address uh, attributes to be of type string, let's suppose that uh, I want I want it to be uh, a text type like I declare it in the first place. So there is a way to roll back our migration. That means we will uh, cancel the uh, the uh, change uh, applied by this migration. How to do that? It's very easy indeed. So all you need to do is to go to your terminal and um, to type the following command. So type db and you have to type roll sorry roll back so uh, let's um, run this command here and let's uh, cancel the latest uh, migration that were executed um, for inside this project so let's let me hit enter so the syntax of um, or the name of the file is invalid. So let me take a look at this error here. So as you can see here, you have to, of course, I forgot to type the rake command. So rake space db um, column and rollback. And let's wait for the uh, the roll the rollback operation to be executed so as you can see here um, standard error error has secured this and all major migration cancelled irreversible migration change address irreversible migration that the reversible migration you migrate top seafood so um, I will take a look at this error and I will try to find the uh, the uh, mistake um, in the next video but let me just show you let me just clear this um, I don't know where it come from but I'm gonna look for uh, for the uh, for the source of the error. So, um, uh, what can I add to this uh, video today? Um, so, let me summarize. So, um, in this video today, I showed you how to 
create a migration how to uh, for example uh, how to make a migration for adding an attribute to our model and let uh, how to alter our database um, table and uh, add some attributes a column to our table I showed you how to uh, write your own uh, code inside the uh, migration file um, and uh, finally and I showed you how to uh, change the um, the type of a, a certain attribute um, inside your uh, database tables so uh, and what about the um, rollback and the cancelling the migration I will take a look at the file and I will uh, show you how to um, execute the rollback operation in the next video because I, I don't have time to uh, take a look at the errors now and um, and that's all so um, see you in the next video bye bye